The next edition of the Sports Life program is on the air, and Alexandra Abramova is here with you. Hello. Let's start traditionally with the most high-profile news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. It became known that the former athlete of the N1 Global League, Albert Durev, has replenished the card of the December tournament of the UFC, which will be held on December 17th in Las Vegas. Albert Durev started his career 11 years ago, and already within the third professional exit in November 11th, he made his debut in the N1 Global League, winning a submission victory over Xavier Fupapakam in the second five minutes. Within the framework of the organization, the athlete performed four more times before moving to the new ACB promotion. Ten years after he stopped in the professional sports, he defeated Caio Felipe Bittencourt da Silva by choke in the second half of the initial segment of the Dana White Challenger Series and won the right to perform in the most famous American promotion. As part of the first entry into the UFC cage, Albert was stronger than another of our compatriots, Roman Capullo, by a decision of the judges. But a month and a half later, on June 11 this year, he lost to Joaquin Buckley by technical knockout. Now the athlete will have to work out his defeat in a new fight with Bruno Silva. We wish Russian athlete good luck and to firmly gain a foothold in the ranks of UFC. On December 2nd, the latest event of the autumn from the world of Russian mixed martial arts took place in the arena of the Great Moscow Circus on Vernaski Avenue. The spectators of the tournament were waiting for five title fights, six duels of the main card, and four fights from prelims. The most significant event of the evening was the defense of the first in the history of MMA series Golden Belt of the winner performed by Muktebekas Kambayev. Brazilian athlete Gustavo Iraq, representing the core MMA club, did not succumb the pressure of the dominant Mektebek from the first seconds and even won the half of the fight by the total number of strikes. The Kyrgyz athlete persistently attacked the opponent with his hands and shortened the distance, while Iraq methodically treated Magu's left leg with the low kicks. During the entire first round, Gustavo managed to throw out 62 punches, 32 of which reached the goal, compared to 18 from 44 from Askambayev. In the second five minutes, at the 19th second after the start of the round, Muktebek knocked over his opponent on the canvas. In an attempt to get out from under the opponent, Iraq opened access to unhidden blows to the head and missed about 10 sweeping and weighty side blows, after which he tried to move the course of the duel closer to the net. However, this did not save him. Muku caught his opponent on a choke through his hand from the position of a full mount. At the second minute, 10 seconds, Gustavo knocked in a sound of surrender, and the judges recorded a new victory for the winner of the Golden Belt. Moro Matlas also had to show their strength again in our octagon. Let's start with the fight for the silver belt of one of the brightest and most recognizable athletes of our promotion, Sergei Babrashev. His new opponent was Ziya Sadeli. This duel became a confrontation between two techniques, Babrashev's powerful punches and Ziya's wrestling skills. Having exchanged literally a couple of blows, Sadeli already at the 10th second of the fight tried to transfer Babrashev to the stalls by grappling under one leg. A moment later, Sergei was pressed into the net. Despite active attempts from Sadeli to drop the opponent, Babrashev continued to demonstrate the good defense against takedowns, delivering periodic blows to Ziyad's body. At the beginning of the second minute of the round, Sergei tried to push his opponent away from him, but Ziyad once again tried to get through his feet and return the course of the fight to the net. This time, Ziyad captured Babrashev's body lower than he did before, and this gave Sergei enough space for a good elbow treatment on the upper body for the opponent. A couple of blows and it became clear how Zayat lost his grip and slided down. Sadeli's corner man threw out a white towel and the referee stopped the fight at the first minute 25th second of the initial round. Congratulations to Sergei Popership on winning a new title and gaining a silver belt into the trophy box. Well, of course, this is my style. I love elbows, knees, arms, legs. Rate your opponent on the 10-point scale. Damn, 10 points. Well, I think 7, 8. A very nice guy. Strong, damn, a very tight catches. But I have, let's say so, my advantages. I will never disclose them to anyone. Kind of that. Did he surprise you with anything? No, he didn't have enough time. No. <laughs> The head and master coach of the Malik club, who does not know defeats on our side, Sergei Diakonov, entered the cage of the series for the sixth time. In the battle for the silver belt, he fought Mahmoud Tantavi from Egypt. 
The Russian-Egyptian confrontation began extremely rapidly, and Mahmoud began working as a first number without hesitation. Literally from the first seconds of the round, he attacked Sergei, trying to catch up with him all over the cage, first with a kick and then with the side blows. However, not a single blow reached the goal, because Diakonov perfectly keeps the pace in reverse. Realizing this, Tantavi stood in the center of the octagon and invited Sergei to come closer. Diakonov is not so easy to unbalance, therefore taking advantage of the moment, Mahmoud even managed to work a little for the public. During this time, Diakonov struck the opponent's body with a spinning kick, to which he received the response in the form of a front kick. The Atlas briefly wrestled at the net and soon returned to the center of the octagon, taking a wait-and-see position. Mahmoud again began to amuse the audience, but this time he did not wait to Sergei's reaction, but instead once again attacked him with a front kick. Diakonov caught the opponent's leg and the course of the fight again briefly moved to the net. 40 seconds before the end of the round, Tantavi attacked his opponent, but this time he did not calculate the trajectory, so he completed his maneuver by falling on the flooring and inviting his opponent to the stalls. Diakonov accepted the challenge with a left side punch and briefly found himself in the position of diagonal control. Tantavi tried to defend himself with up kicks, but after a couple of seconds, the hammer swooped down on the opponent with hammer fists. Thus, by knockout at the beginning of the third minute, Diakonov won the second, this time the silver battle of the MMA series among the heavyweights. Uh, to give him his due, he has a heavy blow. Let's say there were one some clumsy leg flew into the body and got right into the liver. In the liver? Yes, in the liver, right under the rib it flew. I felt it. Are you shocked by today's fight? Perhaps you didn't expect such a heat of passion. No, to be honest, everything just went as I expected. Tajik athlete Bakhtavar Yunusov, who once made his debut in professional sports on our side and won a win-win series of six fights with us, fought for the bronze battle of the winner of the series on September 2nd. His next opponent was an experienced fighter Magomed Kadyev. Whether Bakhtavar managed to take his first title, we will find out just right now. Until the end of the first minute, the Atlas managed to work in all zones, in rack, on the canvas, at the net, while the initiative repeatedly passed from one fighter to another. By the middle of the round, pushing the opponent into the net, Kadyev tried to inflict as many blows with his elbow and knee on Bakhtavar's body as possible. However, Yunusov was seriously focused on wrestling, and after 30 seconds, he was able to successfully trip up and overturn the opponent on the tag. Magomed quickly seized the initiative, however, he found himself in the triangle from Yunusov lying below. The grip was tight enough so Bakhtavar did not even have to strike Kadyev's head at first, although he had plenty of space for maneuver. However, realizing the Mega Mat is not so simple, Yunusov nevertheless moved on on hitting hammer fists on the opponent's head. Without thinking twice, Kadyev responded with the same blows but with the position from above. Thus, for a short time, we saw synchronous movements of Atlas simultaneously from the upper and the lower positions. In the second round, Magomed noticeably lost the pace. The dynamic first period took almost all of his strength, but he risked exploding with a series of attacks. His maneuver did not bring the desired result because after 20 seconds from the start of the second five minutes, Bakhtavar caught the opponent on the new choke. The referee stopped the fight at 44 seconds of the second round and Bakhtavar Yunusov took the seventh consecutive victory in the series, becoming the owner of the bronze pot of the winner. Congratulations to the representative of the Camelot Club on the first title. It seems to me in wrestling that this is the first fighter who has he is quite close to me in the level of wrestling. I realized that I need to train even harder and fight even harder with strong wrestlers so that it will be easy with such opponents for me. And I said I will finish him at the second round, and I did it. The former fighter of the M1 Global League, Azerbaijani athlete Zawar Kujibabayev, was to compete for the silver bat of the winner of the MMA series. This time, he met with the opponent from Iran, Masoud Safari. Following the results of five full rounds, Masoud won by a decision of the judges. Despite the fact that the Iranian athlete representing the Persian Warriors Club was not familiar to Russian MMA fans, it was clear from his record that he prefers to bring fights to the decision of the judges. About Zawar's tactics on the contrary, fans know that 
that he tries to knock out the opponents as early as possible. Having met in the cage that Atlas spent all five rounds in it, Masood continually made attempts to divert the course of the fight to the stalls, while Zawar looked more closely at the opponent, catching good moments for the explosion or short but witty blows. According to the statistics of discarded techniques, we can see that Zafari was more active, although Kajababayev's attacks caused more damage. The Iranian fighter turned out to be not only extremely hardy but also persistent, since not a single attack hit from the representative of the Baku Fighters Club knocked out Safari. During the five minutes of the fight, Masood managed to throw out 286 punches, of which 143 reached the goal, while only 61 punches out of 154 performed by Zawar Kajababayev reached the goal. As a result, Safari celebrated the victory and became the first athlete from Iran to receive the silver bout of the winner of the MMA series. And this was the Sport Life program and its presenter Alexander Abramova. Follow the news of the series on our website and on social networks. And also watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com, especially every Thursday. See you on the air.